Hi, I'm Amanda Helmstetter, and I teach fifth grade at South Penn Elementary. Today, I'm going to model division of whole numbers using place value blocks. For today's problem, D's softball team needed to sell 1,020 fundraiser tickets. There are 12 girls on her team. How many tickets does each girl need to sell? To figure out this problem, I need to figure out the important information so that I know what operation I'm going to use. I know that there are 1,020 fundraiser tickets that need to be sold. They need to be sold between 12 girls. What I'm going to need to do is take the 1,020 tickets and group them into 12 groups. When I group, I use division. I am going to create an area model to solve my problem. This is represented by the length times the width, which will create my rectangle. I will use place value blocks to create the area model. I will put a 10 and two ones down to model my width. This is the factor I do know. The place value blocks that will be placed across the top will be the length or the unknown factor. This will be the answer to my problem. Next, I am going to end up filling in my area. Since 12 times the unknown equals 1,020, this will be my area. I know that 10 times 12 equals 120. I can place the 10 rod at the top to represent 10, which is part of the missing factor or my answer. 10 times 10 equals 100. So I place the hundreds flat. 10 times 1 equals 10. 10 times 1 equals 10. So far, I have 120 as my area. When I do this again, place the top. 10 times 10 equals 100. 10 times 1 equals 10. 10 times 1 equals 10. I now have 240 as my area. I will continue building groups of 120. If I place this down again, I will have 1,080, which is too much, so I will take it away. Since another group of 120 is too much, I know that I can't put another 10 rod at the top. I can subtract 960 from the 1,020 to figure out how much more I need to add my area. Since 1,020 minus 960 equals 60, I need 60 more for my area. To figure out how much more I need to add to my missing factor, I will use basic facts. An unknown times 12 equals 60. Well, 5 times 12 equals 60, so I need to place 5 unit cubes at the top to complete my missing factor. So 1 times 12 equals 12. I now have my final group of 60. So now that I have a total of 1,020 for my area, I will count the base 10 blocks to determine the length of the rectangle. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. Across the top is my missing factor of 85. Each girl will need to sell 85 tickets to reach their goal. Now I can complete the equation to match the story. So 12 times 85 equals 1,020, which is my area. Or I can also say 1,020 divided by 12 equals 85. 